There are certain regions in this country which have been marginalized over the years, from session of paper number 10 of 1965. Those regions deserve attention. On equalization fund, I can't agree with me, you more. This fund must be operationalized. I know there are some challenges. I'm, when I get to the Treasury, if you approve my nomination as a speaker, I will find out what are these challenges. I'm told there are issues about whether to use counties or areas. The Constitution actually talks about areas. It doesn't talk about uh, counties. But we should also not spread it too thin, because we know it is stemming from Article 201, Mr. Speaker, where there should be inclusivity, there should be equity in developing our country, using our public resources to develop the country uniformly. So we should not spread it too thin. There are certain regions in this country which have been marginalized over the years, from session of paper number 10 of 1965. Those regions deserve attention. And we had only 20 years to do this. I know parliament can um, change that. But why don't we utilize that properly? So when I get to the treasury, I will make sure that this fund is properly operational. Every year the money is uh, released. It's not even a lot of money to attend to issues of health, uh, roads, electricity, and water. It's only targeting four areas. Finally, on that matter, Mr. Speaker, I speak with passion because I know what marginalization is all about. Mr. Speaker, I recognize myself both as a Luo and as a Suba. My mother is a Luo, or the late mother was a Luo. My late father was a Suba. So because in our uh, society, you take your father's uh, uh, ethnicity, I'm so a Suba, so I am yes. a Suba. Subas don't even constitute 2%, so we are a minority. I know what it means to be marginalized.